this leaks and uh, I guess yours does too which is why you're here um, it goes by a lot of different names I've seen it called a uh, toilet tap water supply valve mini stopcock toilet shut off valve system tap toilet system shut off valve toilet system tap toilet water shut off valve mini stop um, I've even seen it called a stopcock um, whatever it is it leaks uh, the problem with this one is I can't uh, I can't get this nut off because um, when it was installed 30 years ago um, they used plumber's putty and uh, the plumber's putty is set solid uh, and if I put a wrench on here and turn it I'm more likely to twist the pipe than, than uh, the nut release uh, so either I've got to somehow find my way into the wall here to get Stilson's onto the pipe to stabilize it while I undo this nut um, or I'll do damage well I didn't want to do either of those so I thought I'd investigate could I just repair it um, and I'd seen nothing on the internet about repairing these they're all telling you how to replace them so I thought I'd just update um, first thing you have to do is go through the normal process of, of shutting off the mains water supply draining the system then um, undo uh, obviously take off the exit uh, pipe from the, the valve um, if you need to uh, but if uh, you don't um, make sure you empty the cistern anyway otherwise the water is just going to back out of it so uh, then undo this Phillips screw and the cap under here you'll find that there's a wire circlet so get some snipes squeeze uh, the two pins together slip the circlet off then unscrew the uh, the spindle on the spindle you'll find a uh, a rubber o-ring neon a neoprene o-ring um, measure that to make sure it's the right one for replacement and uh, slip it off replace it um, put some of the uh, uh, the plumber lubricant on if you have some but there's probably enough on there anyway uh, clean up and um, replace the spindle replace the circlet and uh, reassemble uh, as you had um, disassembled everything and um, turn the water supply back on so I hope this is helpful for people that can't remove the valve or just want to spend cents rather than dollars. Best of luck.